Hey, I'm Ryan Price, Head Golf Professional at Cape Fear National. We want to talk to you a little bit about the drop zones at Cape Fear National and why they were changed and the new locations in them. The reason the golf course changed the uh, drop zones is because in accordance with the USGA rules, the drop zone should always be located on the tee box side of the golf course, not on the green side as we have been playing them for years. This affects members' handicaps and their golfing ability. So this needed to change to be in conjunction with USGA guidelines. Here we are on hole number two at Cape Fear National with your new drop zone on the tee box side in accordance with the CGA's re-rating of the golf course. So here we are on hole number six. This is where our new drop zone will be in accordance to the Carolina Golf Association's re-rating of the golf course. Right in here in the fairway, pointing across to the green, this gives you your least amount of obstacle to cross. Here we are on hole number 18 with a special exception for our LGA players. You may drop on the green side of this fairway. Your new drop zones at Cape Fear National are on the tee box side of hole number two, just before the no play area where you are not allowed to enter. On the tee box side of number six, again, in the no play zero, uh, before the no play zone. And for the LGA, a special drop zone has been added to hole number 18.